Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. It is 6.30 in the morning. I have my cup of coffee um, and we have our little friend with glowing eyes over here and I am ready to talk books. So today I'm going to be talking about a little gem that I found on the new shelf at the library. I checked out on a whim and I really, really enjoyed it. So I want to share with you and that is Wild Design Nature's Architects by Kimberly Ridley. I really just picked this up because the cover was so beautiful and also it was short so I knew that if I didn't like it I wasn't going to be stuck for a super long read but I read it and I read it in one sitting and I loved it. This is a pretty short book just over 100 pages and it doesn't have a lot of text but I don't want to say it doesn't have a lot of content because there is a lot of content just not a lot of text. So this book uh, as evidenced by the title focuses on design that can be found in nature. So they cover or the author covers a wide variety of topics ranging from the very smallest of creatures. We're talking, um, well, they don't even start with creatures. Initially they start with like minerals and gemstones and then they start with very, very small microscopic creatures moving through the fungi kingdom, then into botany plants. Uh, we have birds, and then we wind up discussing some mammals. Very, very short, definitely not like a comprehensive overview of design in nature. Um, oh, and insects were also in there, which I forgot to mention. So not a comprehensive overview of everything about nature and design, but definitely a very good introduction. And as you notice when I was flipping through the content, or not the content, I don't wanna say there's not a lot of content. The text is really short and sweet and to the point, and it is accompanied by these for lack of a better word, antique illustrations. They're the kind of illustrations I feel like you would find in an old, I don't know, book from the 1800s. And I believe that's actually where these are all from. She has her sources listed in the back and they are just really pretty and super cool. And I really liked the illustrations. I liked the way it flowed from mineral to uh, mammal and through all the different sections. Um, but I do have to say my favorite section was actually the fungi section. I did learn a lot throughout all of these sections. Um, so, oh, please stop fighting. Please stop fighting. The cats have decided to fight. Please stop fighting. Um, I moved, I learned something in all the sections. So I feel like I don't wanna, yeah prize one section over the other, but I really enjoyed the fungi section. Um, I just thought the illustrations were super cool. I love looking at all the different kinds of fungi and mushrooms and stuff that's growing in the forest when I take walks. I think they're super cool. So the illustrations were just absolutely beautiful and a reason in and of itself why you should pick up this book. But also I learned something new. Uh, let me see if I can find, ah yes, these little boys. Um, I see these everywhere. I've been seeing them my entire life and I never knew what they were called until this book. And it turns out they are called turkey tails. Uh, and I, I see these all the time. These are everywhere. There's some growing behind my house right now, actually. Um, but yeah, I did not know what these were called and they're called turkey tails. So now I learned something new that I'm definitely going to take with me. This is a something that you, you want to pick up. It's so pretty. The illustrations are pretty. The cover's pretty. It would look great on a shelf. It's a great read. Everyone can learn something. And, uh... I think it's it's accessible for all ages, whether you're a little kid or uh, someone who's just enjoys taking walks or being outside and you've been doing that for years and years and years. So this is definitely something that you want to read. Additionally, it made me excited for this other book that's on my things to read shelf. Um, I haven't gotten to it yet, but it's The Hidden Kingdom of Fungi. So after reading this book, I really, really uh, am excited to read this book because I feel like this just primed me for the content that's gonna be in this book, which is gonna be a little thicker. Um, so overall, I really enjoyed this book. I would give it a four star. Definitely like the design is prevalent in this book, the illustrations, the pictures, as opposed to say the, the uh, content, the, the text. Um, but I think the balance is really good. It's really pretty and everyone would enjoy it if you'd pick it up. So again, this was Wild Design, Nature's Architects by Kimberly Ridley. I really enjoyed this book and I recommend that you pick it up. If you've read this book or have any other suggestions that are like this book, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. Other than that, thank you so much for watching everyone and I hope you have a great rest of your day.